Jeremiah, can you give us your take on what happened on the 15-yard penalty? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I just had an overdose of adrenaline. I was, I was ready to go in. And then at the end of the play, I mean, when I initially made contact with the quarterback, I was hacking for the ball. So I just kept hacking. And then my, I mean, finally, I just, you know, try to, I mean, that's what we do in practice. We try to hack for the ball when we make contact with, with a player who's still standing up. So I kept hacking and the, just the adrenaline, overdose of adrenaline. There's no excuse for it, though. Uh, in your interpretation on that play, did did they wait too long to blow the whistle? Yeah, I think they waited too long. I mean, it was there were, there were three. I mean, it's over now. I mean, there were three players around, but I mean, when in a high energy game like this, I mean, I mean, you got to stop the play. Jeremiah, when when they threw the flag, yeah, um, you mentioned you thought that the whistle should have blown. Did you know exactly? What the flag was for? Did you realize? I, had a, I mean, I had a feeling. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I didn't know it was gonna. Be. I mean, I, I knew I was going too. I was going too hard. I'm, I'm a high energy player, so I was just uh, going so hard. I mean, I was when I made contact with him. I was just mad that he wouldn't go down. So I kept trying to, you know, hack the ball. We do that in practice when somebody's standing up and refusing. You, I was hacking for the ball when I was behind him, and then I, I my body because I initially hit him from the back. So I, I mean, my body kind of moved to his to the front, so I kept hacking from the ball for the ball, and then the uh, the flag was thrown. So I mean, I knew I had a feeling it was. I'm, I'm not dumb. Uh, I had a feeling it was, it was that was the reason they threw the flag. This question's for uh, both of you guys. Uh, Logan Thomas, their quarterback, had a pretty good game running the ball. It was very physical. Uh, first off, have you guys faced anybody like that this year, or and? Uh, you know, what's it like to try to stop a quarterback who's that big and that physical when he runs the ball? I mean, we, we faced some good quarterbacks before. <clears throat> so, probably not as big and as strong as that guy, but, um, I mean, there's no excuse to let him just do what he did to us. You know, we should have we executed better. We had him as a target to stop him, and we just didn't, we just didn't do it. Jeremiah. Uh, after the penalty, and I mean, you guys had the momentum there and a pretty big stop Sorry. before that. How hard is it to then to regroup and then try to stop that offense uh, at that moment? Uh, no. it, it, would, it would have been nice in a perfect world. It would be nice to not have the penalty and get off the field, and get I mean, get off the field. I mean, but I mean, this we I mean, we're coached to play for the next play, so that was over, and I, I knew I had to you know block it out. Me personally, I mean, it's the first time. I mean, in my short career, that I've had anything like this. So I, I just know the first thing I have to do is take it out, take it out, because it's going to hurt my game, for, hurt my teammates if I keep it in my mind going forward with the game. So I had to, immediately I blocked it out. I mean, and I knew I, I knew it was. I mean, I was going. I just had to correct. I mean, slap myself on on the wrist a little bit. I mean, so. What would it be as far as uh, the difference in this game tonight? Um, I would say it was just two teams that just wanted it, tried to well, wanted to wanted to get it a lot more than the other team. Um, obviously, I mean, not to say that they wanted it more, but I mean, they did enough to do to, to do what it took to get it done. And I mean, we just couldn't execute. But I think both teams wanted it. It was just, it, when it came down to it, 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 was, it was fell in the hands. Third and longs uh, on you guys today. What what was happening in those plays, and how frustrated was it not get off the field in those situations? I mean, uh, for some of them, we have to go on film and look because we're in the game. We don't really, we don't, we can't really know what's going on. But I mean, I felt I mean, we could have put more pressure on the quarterback. I mean, that would have definitely altered his throwing. And his accuracy, I mean, if anything. So, I mean, that's something I hold myself accountable for. I mean, I have to get press on him. Uh, for, for both of you guys or either of you guys, uh, I know you have a little bit of time before Duke, but how difficult is this one to swallow, knowing that, you know, your chances for the, the division title, you know, kind of go down the drain with this one? Um, seeing it's probably the conference title would be out of our hands now. It, it is a hard pill to swallow, but... 
I mean, we just got to bounce back. We got Duke next week. Um, we're going to approach it just like we approach any game. We want, we got with the mindset to win, and that's what we're going to try to do. It's, I mean, it's definitely hard to swallow, but, I mean, we're, we're players, so every week we're going to go out there and play and try to play better than we played the last week. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It's still a game to play, and we still have a season to play. So play for and We have a lot, a lot to play for, I mean, personally. So I think we're just going to keep, keep it moving. We have a lot of guys with strong character on the team. So, I mean, they know how to put things in the past. So we're just going to put it in the past and keep it moving.